Hello Virgo viewers. So today I'm going to be looking into your situation when it comes to love. So this could be a past person, an ex. It could be someone you're currently with. It could be somebody that's coming in the new future. Let's just see how the cards play out. I know the last reading I did was I think a few weeks ago for this. And the energy I got was that there was a third party being removed. So for some of you, you know, this was, this could be you leaving somebody or you letting go of an ex or you just removing some third party situation so that you can be with somebody who's more compatible with you. For others, you know, depending on what your story is, because there are two groups of Virgos that I channel, um, I think when I do these readings, so, or at least there was last time I did this reading, I remember there being two different groups. So for some of you, it's, you know, you're leaving somebody for somebody new um, that's more compatible with you and you're letting go of a karmic relationship. And for others, I think you've been waiting for somebody to get it together and they've been kind of putting you on hold for somebody else and they were ending that karmic relationship and coming back to you. So it's whatever your story is. But let's see what, you know, let's see what updates we have. Let's see what the cards have to say about it. All right, so for the Virgos that are watching this video, the ones that are drawn to this video, what's going on with your love life right now? Forbidden, honesty, hmm, we have a lust here, lust probably would go with forbidden. <laughs> Message, okay, interesting. Grounding, love, so yeah, there's two different energies here, definitely. I'm still feeling that. And then the moon. I think it's telling you that, that the, the recent moon cycle might have brought this new love in also. It might have kind of amplified things, might have brought some hidden things. It might be currently bringing some hidden things to light. Um, this could be the past moon cycle. We were just in a dark moon about like a week or so ago. Um, but I think there's a another moon cycle coming up that I am picking up on. So it could also be that, that that's bringing love in for you. Okay, so I feel like there's two or three different stories here, actually. It's pretty interesting. I'm reading more than one group of people for this. So with Forbidden and Lust, I'm getting the sense that there could be cheating involved. There could be some type of cheating. Um, I think that somebody... Think that the grass looked green. You know, I'm gonna I'm gonna tell both stories, but so for if this is you know your story, I think that the grass looked greener on the other side of the fence for somebody. It was like the forbidden fruit must be tasted. So they might have been cheating, or it could just be that you guys aren't together, but they're just they wanted to explore their options. They wanted to. Um, maybe they knew that you were the one for them and they just, they wanted to, you know, experience other people before fully committing to you, which, you know, isn't that great, but, but however it plays out, it, it seems like somebody was, whether you guys were together and they actually cheated on you or whether this is just somebody that you've been trying to reconcile with and they're just kind of messing around with other people right now and just playing the field and just seeing what all is out there and they're kind of just running from commitment right now um i think that whatever this situation is forbidden and lust i think that you know they experienced what they wanted to experience and they think they're it's not all they hoped it would be i think the grass ended up not being greener on the other side of the fence and i think they're being honest with themselves about that you know, we have honesty and message here, and then high priestess of earth, love, and the moon. So, if this person cheated on you, I feel like they might have just confessed it to you, or they might be confessing it to you, or if it's just like a someone you've been trying to reconcile with, they might kind of start being more honest with themselves about how they feel, and, and you know, realizing that they messed up, and realizing that, you know, it wasn't all they hoped it would be, and they might be coming in with this message for you, 
and trying to be more honest and in tune with their feelings and, and, you know, making at least some attempt not to run from commitment and not to play with your heart anymore, basically. And, you know, I think you're that the... I think you're this earth card here that would make sense and you're trying to stay grounded and trying to stay loyal and you're looking at the love you're trying to you know you're trying to focus on the love that's there you're trying to focus on the good in this situation you're trying to still see the best in them for some of you but for others okay so there's a second group Either way, I feel like a third party is being removed or has been removed. I do because I do feel two different energies when I when I did this reading a few weeks ago and and doing this reading again now, I do still feel two separate energies. So for some of you, I think that maybe you've been with somebody. You know, it could be for a while even, and you're kind of realizing that you're a little bit bored. Um, that maybe there's just this passion, you know, you see this is like, this is, this is like this, it's like a sexual energy, but it's like a romantic energy too. When I, for this group, for this, you know, again, two different groups that I'm reading here. So whatever your story is, however it resonates with you. But for some of you, it's almost like you've been with somebody and like this kind of like affection and love and passion has just been forbidden. It's like, they're not quite as romantic as you are or they're not quite as like affectionate as you are, or they're not like, they don't show their emotions. They don't, sh they don't like, they don't come on to you. It's just kind of like getting boring with that, with whatever that situation is. It's like, you want that passion. You want that romance. You want that. You need that in your relationships. You're a very intense person. It's like, you, you want that um, you want that to show in your relationships and whatever this is, it's like, it's not showing. And Let's see. Oops, sorry. And then, see, we have honesty here, too. This, to me, because I keep, you know, I always intuitively read the cards, so I can read this completely differently. Like, in the, you know, for the, for the first group, this meant something different than it means for this group. So I always look at it differently, and I always focus on the characters when I interpret the cards. And I primarily channel, I mean, I just use these as a visual tool for you guys, but I mostly just channel the cards. So... It's, you know, the meanings are always going to be a little bit different for each reading, just based on what I'm feeling. So yeah, to me, this is like a stagnant energy. This is like, you want this romance, but it's like forbidden to you. It's like, you're not getting it. You're not getting the passion, the romance. It's like, this is just kind of, it's not everything you hoped it would be. Um, it's like something's just forbidden to you. There's just something missing there. And I think that whoever, whatever the situation is, I do feel like, Either you or somebody else is about to be honest and come through with a message. Whatever this energy is, you know, again, two different groups. So whether this is somebody that you are just, you know, you've been with and you're just kind of bored, it's stagnant, you're not getting the romance and the passion that you want from this connection, or whether it's, you know, the first story that we told where it's, this could be, um, you know, either cheating if you guys are together or if you guys aren't together, then it could just be basically you know, them choosing this karmic partner over you and then, you know, realizing that it was just less and that there wasn't anything there. Whatever it is, I feel like this energy is being taken out now. I feel like this person, I feel like you are moving away from this energy, whatever your story is. Because with the, with the earth sign, with the earth card here, you're looking at love. You're looking at this new love. So this is either actually a new person or it's the same person, but it's like a new energy or like this, this doesn't work for me anymore. Whatever that was, it's like, it's, there's some, there's some third party energy. Either way, there's some third party energy that's being removed right now, basically. And I think right now you're kind of figuring yourself out more with this, with this love that's here. It's like, you're figuring out who you are and what you want in a relationship it's like you kind of have this new passion that's coming in you know and you're being honest with yourself here too um and again this could be this could either this is honesty with your with the person with this new love this is honesty it's like you're sending them a message or you're or they're going to send you a message however that plays out there's just some type of yeah there's some type of message coming in i feel that's going to be about well, it could just be, I mean, I want to say it's an honest message, but it could also just be that it could be you being honest with yourself. And 
and realizing and realizing you know you can't be vulnerable with this person the way you can with this other person there's not that same it's like there's just something missing from this situation whatever it is but yeah third party removal still the same energy we got a few weeks ago um let me pull some more cards and see what else i can get here all right So what can you tell me about this this new energy? Again, either the same person, but completely new energy with them, or it's actually a completely new person coming in that's gonna you're gonna be able to be more vulnerable with than you were able to be with the, the past person. So let's see what's going on here. What do we want to say about this? What's going on with this love situation? What's going on? Particularly with this new energy, what's going on with that? Let's see. But the cards will say what they want to say. And I try to focus on questions, and sometimes they just tell me what the story is, and they don't even care about my questions. <laughs> yeah, that's interesting here. Three of Swords. Yeah, there's definitely this really... It's like this romantic, new, fresh energy... Yeah, it's interesting. Uh huh. Same. Okay, okay. So same, very similar energy to the first spread, but there's a little bit more detail now. So that's good. Okay, we have the three of swords reversed. We have the ace of wands. We have the ace of cups. So new starts all over. Um, and that's the fact that it's wands and cups. That's a really good sign. It's like this passionate, romantic new start. Then you have the empress, and you have the five of cups. You have the emperor, and you have the eight of cups. So again, two different stories here with, um, see to me, the three of swords reverse, the three of swords upright is all about, it's, it's heartbreak, it's, it's pain, it's, it's despair, it's loss. Um, it's just really having your heart broken by somebody. But if you look at the ace of wands here, it's kind of like this person was looking at the, th this person was, you know, look at how they're looking at this heartbreak. I think for some of you, it's like your person left you for somebody else and then it kind of bit them in the ass and they got their heart broken and now they're, it's like it just, it got turned around on them. For others, you know, if you're in that, that second, I think it was the second group where you've been with somebody, but there's just like something missing and it's just kind of stagnant. It's almost like it just doesn't even hurt anymore. It's like, there's just like, you just can't cry about it anymore. It's like, you want to, you want to let go of this pain, this, this disconnect with whatever it is, whether that means for a lot of you, I do think it means moving on with somebody else because, like I said, I get two separate energies here. I get this, like, stagnant energy um, where just something's missing in this connection, and then I get, like, this new, fresh energy, um, and they just, they seem like two different people to me, but again, it's whatever your story is. For some of you, it really is two different energies. For some of you, it is just, you know, this person betrayed you, whether you're with them or you're not with them. It's like they chose somebody else over you, whatever the situation is, but you're wanting to work through this pain. You're wanting to let it go and you're wanting this fresh start with them. And if that is your story, then that it looks like the fresh start is coming in. It looks like they realize that they messed up and that they're going to come back around and they're going to try to make this right. Um, but they're going to have to do things different. If that's the case. They're going to have to do things a lot differently and you know that. They're going to have to let go of control issues. They're going to there is just going to be a much different energy because again two very different energies so I feel like sorry I, I this is a very confusing reading because I think I'm channeling two groups of people maybe even three groups of people so and usually with most of my readings I just channel one group so it's a little bit confusing here but whatever the situation is that 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 three of swords reversed it's it's like you're letting go of that pain that heartbreak whether you're forgiving this person and this person is finally coming forward and you guys are starting over together and they're letting the karmic go or whether this is, you know, for a lot of you, I do think it also, it, it could be the, the other story where it's basically you're letting go 
of a, of a situation or a person that just is no longer serving you, basically. It's like with the Ace of Wands here, looking at the Three of Swords reversed, it's like there's just... It's almost like, I almost see it as like being numb, you know what I mean? Because it's like the Three of Swords, there's still like pain, but when it's reversed, it's almost like this person is just kind of like, it's like bored and numb to the connection. They're, there's just this very stagnant energy. It's like they're just not, they don't feel like they can, you, it's like you don't feel like you can be yourself with that person really. Like, you don't feel like you can be, I don't know, there's, like, a lack of, like, emotional depth and vulnerability and romance. And I think with that last spread, with the honesty and the message coming in, it's, like, you're kind of just being more honest with yourself about what's missing in that connection. And with the Ace of Cups here, it's, like, you're in the, you're in this, you'll know what your story is, you know what I mean? You, you'll know which, which story is yours, but if you're resonating with this reading... That is. But the Ace of Cups is, it's about a new beginning when it comes to love. So either way, you have a new beginning with this. You have a new beginning when it comes to love either way. Whether it's actually with a new person or whether it's this old person finally making things right and changing their ways and being a more emotionally available for you. But there's the two energies I pick up are so drastically different. So if this is someone that betrayed you and hurt you um, or somebody who's just, you know, they're just not fully emotionally available with you. They're not giving you what you need in the relationship or there's somebody who, um, you know, left you for somebody else and they're trying to come back around now. Uh, whatever the situation is, it's like there's just this, there's, you're just not, you're not fulfilled and you, there is like this sense of like betrayal and just not being able to be yourself with this person. So this person is going to do like a complete, if that's your story, then this person is going to do a complete turnaround. They're going to, they're, they're going to be coming in much differently. It's going to feel like new love. But for a lot of you, because the energies are so drastically different, I'm like, that person would have to change a lot for it to be the same person. You know what I mean? And for some of you, maybe your your ex or your current person is going to change that much, and they are going to be more attentive to your needs. But for, for a lot of you, I think this is actually a new person that's going to be giving you what you want and matching your energy more than this old person did is kind of what I'm getting for the most part, just because the energies are too, so drastically different. So again, it's whatever your story is. Because um, with the Ace of Cups, it's like this person is looking away from that. You know, the Ace of Wands is looking back. The Ace of Cups is looking forward. And the Ace of Cups, that's that's new love. That's romance. That's, it's like young love, kind of. It's like these, these new romantic feelings. It's, um, it's just like this this raw emotion. It's um, just just new feelings, new love. It's really good energy. And, you know, you see the Ace of Cups is looking towards the Empress. So either you are the Empress or you're attracting your Empress or this new person is your Empress, is in that energy, that Empress energy, which is, which is to me just raw feminine energy. It's somebody who can be motherly and protective, but very connected to nature, very connected to her feminine energy, very um, in tune with her emotions, you know, very caring and loving and empathetic and, you know, just, just in tune with her emotions. So that's either the energy that you're going to be able to be in with this new person and they're going to understand you and just support you in a way this other person didn't. Or this could be the energy that you're manifesting. I mean, either way, it's gonna you're gonna be matching each, other, each other's energy. So I guess you could say you're both in the Empress energy into that in that respect because I feel like you both will have empathy and compassion in and that connection with each other. And with the Five of Cups here, it's like you're watching this. Let me see this. You're watching something sail away, but you're not going after it. So it's either, again, either you're releasing a third party that wasn't meeting your needs and you're, you're choosing somebody that's more compatible with you or your person is doing that. They're, you know, letting this other person go so that they can come, you know, or letting this other energy go so that they can come back around and you know, be loving and be open and be more of what you need. The emperor to me is like, it's, it's stagnant energy. It's, 
it's someone who's kind of it's like it's like control issues i feel it's control issues it's this strict sort of it's this strict kind of energy basically like trying to control and manipulate everything you know the emperor is somebody who's very they can be very controlling they can be very strict they're not really one to show their emotions they're not one to they 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 see emotions as weakness they see almost see love as weakness it's like they have this very it's almost like a very damaged mindset like they're almost like this bitterness that they have so Either your person, okay, so again, two different stories, so I'm sorry, I know I keep going back and forth, but it, it gets confusing when I end up, because every once in a while I do end up channeling a couple different stories in a reading, so it gets a little bit confusing for me sometimes, but, so basically with, with the Five of Cups and the Emperor here, you know, this energy is being let go of, so whether this is somebody that wronged you, that betrayed you, that chose the, you know, chose their karmic over you, and they're coming back around, then they're letting go of the emperor energy. They're letting go of the need to be right all the time. They're letting the go they're letting go of the need to control things. You know, they're they're coming back around and they're trying to work through this pain. They're trying to work through the pain that they know they caused you. And then for others, your person is, you know, letting go of this karmic that they were with that was controlling them and it was rigid and they just weren't happy and they weren't able to be themselves and they're letting go of that karmic to come back to you so they can be in this energy this 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 new love romance just this like honeymoon phase with you and start a new life with you and then again third story would be that this is somebody who kind of controlled you and kind of just was not willing to be affectionate with you not willing to show their emotions with you fully the way that you want it it's like you need a lot of depth and passion and romance in your relationships and whatever this energy was it's like you weren't really getting it from that person whoever this is um it could be someone you're currently with could even be somebody who wanted a second chance with you but but whatever the story is it's, it's like you just you're you weren't being heard and understood you weren't able to fully express yourself you weren't able to have that that passion and that romance and those the that deep connection that deep spiritual bond that you have been longing to have with somebody and so if that's your story then then you're letting you're slowly letting this it's slowly sailing away it's like you're slowly letting this person go and you're starting slowly starting over with this with this empress with this you know this new love and you're you know you're looking behind you you're still it's a slow start but it's like you're kind of just letting go of that that person or that old life and and you're starting over again with your empress or you are the empress you know however that plays out for you because i know usually I, I had mostly female viewers for a long time but I, i've seen a lot of men commenting lately so i might have male viewers coming in now too so i want to be care more careful with my wording um but again it's it's whatever if i say male or female it, it's you know this could be male male this could be female female relationships it could be male female it's however it plays out for you so don't get caught up too much on those on wording you know it's just whatever your story is you know so I'm going to pull some just quick cards, some cards really quickly, just to see what, what else I can get for you guys. One second. Okay, so I'm going to use the deck that I just made recently. Any, anything else I want to tell the, these viewers? Any final messages? Yeah, this is interesting. Okay. What is that one? No, I'm not going to do that one. Just, ugh. Sorry. <laughs> it's a mess. <laughs> Banish, grounding, communication, dragon spirits, cut and clear. See, I feel like cut and clear goes with banish over here. 
Yeah, see, this is, let me order these correctly. So with, with Cut and Clear, Banish, and Deception, I do, you know, deception can be lies, gossip, negative intentions. It could also just be, I mean, for a lot of you, I do feel like your person betrayed you, but it could also just be that they betrayed you in the sense that you thought that was going to be your safe space. You thought that this was going to be a relationship where you'd be able to be your romantic true self, where you'd be able to be fully open and vulnerable with them. And it's like you're not fully getting everything it's not quite what you thought it would be it's like you're not getting everything that you you wanted from this relationship there's just this lack of depth and emotion that you need like it might be familiar and comfortable but it's like there's something missing there that you just you need in your relationships and you're starting to be honest with yourself about that about what you want from from relationships basically so with cut and clear banish and deception it's like you're letting go of that whether Hold on, let me get a clarifier card, actually. That sounds better. <laughs> okay, so we have the Knight of Wands actually reversed. So yeah, again, that makes that does make sense. You know, this is a situation where you could not be, you know, Knight of Wands, it's like passion, that's fiery energy, that's, um, you know, being opinionated, being stubborn, being, you know, emotional, being romantic, just being affectionate, being yourself. And it's reversed. It's like it was something, it was a situation where you could not be yourself, basically is what it's saying here. And, you know, that's being let go of. Again, it's, it's kind of, sorry, it's getting kind of complicated with me channeling a few different stories. So either you know, that was your person and they were in that situation with a karmic and they were not able to be them true, their true selves and they just realized it was just, it wasn't what they, what they wanted. It was just, it was just lust with the karmic or whatever. It was just, you know, they wanted the familiarity and now that they have it, they're like, oh wait, this isn't actually what I want and they're coming back to you. Um, and for others, it's, you know, that's your story and your the one that's been in this kind of stagnant situation where you just haven't been able to be your true self just as much as you want to be. And you're, you know, you're letting go of it. You're starting to let go of it. You're starting to push it away. Um, maybe there was just too much negativity, maybe just lies or just, again, just could be just deception. Like I said, just you not being able to be just you being deceived about what you could have with this person and realizing you can't have it all like you thought you could. You know, with the communication card here, it's like we just have this. Can you see that clearly? We just have this, like, this disconnect, basically. With dragon spirit and grounding, it's like you got to protect yourself from that energy as well. You have to protect yourself and have to kind of shield from outside influence and opinions right now so you can really get in tune with yourself and figure out what you want to do next. Um, and then ground yourself too, being out in nature. That's really important. But, you know, here we have feelings. So there's, again, new love, whether it's, if this is new love with an old person or if this is, you know, someone drastically changing and finally putting you first and coming around or if this is, you know, you letting go of the old person that was just not giving you what you wanted and you're, you're starting over with somebody new. Um, it's just a, whatever the situation is, you know, raw emotion is the key. You know, allow yourself your depth and vulnerability Allow yourself to express yourself honestly with, you know, the people around you. Allow yourself to be true to yourself with, with what you want, with who you are, um, what you need in a relationship. Just just get more in tune with your feelings and um, be, be vulnerable and, and be honest. So, right, thank you guys for watching. If, you, if this resonates with you, please go ahead and subscribe. Thanks.